What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got another foot birthday player to review and it is going to be Suarez, a card that looks stupid if we're talking about the stats. Well this is the thing, they didn't just upgrade his stats, they also gave him 5 star skill moves as well. Suarez has gone from 3 star skill moves to 5 star skill moves. Something I'm very interested to see is how is he going to feel with the 5 star skillers. Because there is some 5 star skillers out there that I've used that doesn't feel like a natural 5 star skiller. You know, sometimes when they when I pull off like a Migiri spin cancel or an Elastico with them, the ball goes a little bit too far. So I feel like maybe Suarez is going to have that kind of feel to him. But I'm not going to judge too early. We're going to see how it goes, and I'm hoping, hoping his skill moves do come off really, really nicely. He also has got a four-star weak foot with high, medium work rates, and he is a six-foot player as well. The price, 1.3 million coins. He goes for more than a gold Mbappe right now. Crazy pricing, I must admit, but you never know, right? Especially by looking at these stats, he might be actually worth it. Now, the chem style I've decided to go for is the engine chem style. I feel like the engine chem style is very nice on this card, but I also feel like the hunter chem style is also quite solid because you're just boosting up the pace as much as possible. With the hunter, you're giving this guy 99 acceleration with 96 sprint speed, which is really, really good. Well, with the engine chem style, you're still giving him that 99 acceleration, but you are giving him 91 sprint speed, which is okay for a striker. It isn't anything amazing, let's say. But the main reason I've gone for the engine is because of the dribbling. Give, giving him that extra agility while also giving him the extra balance and the extra dribbling. I feel like he's going to be huge on this card, especially with the five-star skill moves. I feel like he's going to make him feel way, way better on the ball. And obviously, the engine chem style does also give him passing stats. So you're giving him 99 vision, 97 crossing, 89, uh, 89 free kick accuracy, sorry, 95 short passing with 89 long passing and 99 curve. Passing for a striker looks immaculate. Shooting ability, wow. 95 attacking position with 97 finishing, 93 shot power, 92 long shots, 92 volleys with the 87 penalties as well. While also having the outside foot shot trait. Yeah, he hasn't got the finesse shot trait. And I know for a fact everyone would have loved it on this card. It's just, it is what it is. The outside foot shot trait is still a really, really good trait to have this year. And with those kind of shooting stats, I feel like it's going to be incredible. The physicals. Now, this is something I'm really looking forward to because usually with strikers in FIFA 22, you obviously have like the dribbling, the pace, the shooting, not so much of the passing. But the main th thing that we don't usually have is 91 strength with 94 aggression. You rarely get that in the meta strikers in FIFA 22. So yeah, I really want to see how that 90, 91 strength is going to come into play, especially with that 94 aggression as well. He also has got 86 stamina with 90 heading accuracy. Now the links, incredible. There's no other way of me saying that, right? Straight up. Atletico Madrid is outrageous for links in this game. You can link him up with a flashback Griezmann. You can link him up with a uh, numbers up Joan Felix. That's all That's all you need to hear, pretty much. That's literally it. So yeah, Griezmann, Felix, Suarez. That front three would be an absolute joke. Now, the links I've gone for, just to get him on full chemistry, is Griezmann and Kapu. Now, positions. I am going to be playing Suarez in two positions. I actually want to play this card in a cam position because of how good his passing looks. So, yeah, I'll play him in a cam position in a 4-1-2-1-2 two, two narrow, but I'm definitely going to play him in his natural position, the striker position, in a 4-4-2 formation. So, yeah, let's get into the games and let's see how good this Suarez card is going to be. Suarez, you're going to make that run? You are, and that's a good pass over to him as well. Nice touches. No, that's a heavy touch, but we do actually get really lucky. I'm going to see if I can just use his pace. Hold off, hold off, Varane. Nice Elastico. Good touch. Go for it again. Oh my. No. What was that dribbling? What? Did you see how quick he was? He literally went to the left and instantly turned back, spun the player, and it allowed us to have a decent opportunity. It wasn't the greatest of angles, and I definitely wasn't expecting it to go in. But wow, the dribbling there, insane. I want to driven that straight through the middle. That's a good pass. Good touch as well. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God, the reverse Elastico to give me that angle to shoot onto that four-star weak foot. And it was a beauty of a finish as well. Just chip it into the middle there over to Suarez. I'm just going to hold off around here with his strength. Look at the strength getting used. Nice. Good turn as well. Give it over to Griezmann. I've sent Suarez on a run as well. Going to go for that overtop through ball. No, that pass needs to be better. It needs to be better there, Griezmann. I'm kind of looking for a one-two. I need Griezmann to support me here. There you go. Fake shot. Nice. And again, 
Oh my god. Look at the I just wanted to show you guys how the skills actually come off with Suarez. You see how fast it is? I was definitely not expecting it to come off that smooth and that fast. Like he feels incredible with the skill moves. Vinny, run bro. You could actually get him behind there. There you go. I see Suarez all the way on the other side, but he's against Danea. I don't think he's gonna win it over Danea, but I guess we'll give it a go. We actually green timed it. It obviously wasn't the header I kind of wanted, but it was still a decent shot, I guess. Just first time past that. Now, he actually used his strength there to hold off Kempembe. Is he going to try to make a run? I'm going to give him the ball. Accelerate. Well played. Referee. Referee. That has to be. Has to be a penalty. It was a really good touch from him to actually uh, go through the space there. I, I'm pretty sure he has a custom, and uh, what's well, not a custom animation, a custom run up, right? I'm pretty sure he has. Let me see. Has he got a cut? Yeah, he has. Yeah, he does. And we miss it either way. I didn't even bother timing it. I was so focused on the on the like animation to run up towards the ball. Suarez, just stay on side here. I'm going to fake shot that. Driven pass it all the way down. And this is a good opportunity to test out that four-star weak foot. It wasn't bad of a shot at all. It's just when Van der Sar is in goal, I doubt those kind of shots are ever going to go in against him. I kind of want to go for a finisher. I want to see if I can maybe get him into the angle. And this is not a bad angle at all. It is green timed as well. And it looks like he was about to go in. Kante, just played it over to Suarez. Quick one, two, just game in behind. Nice. I'm going to trust in that four-star weak foot. And it's going to go past the post. The, the four-star weak foot this year, it's so, so inconsistent, man. There's times where the ball will literally fly into the back of the net. But then there's other times where it will do that. Get that Suarez. Fight for it. Shield him. Nice. Well played. Give it back to him here. And just switch to play. No way. That. No way. Oh my. Please score it. No, he moved the keeper. He moved the keeper. If I saw that, I would have shot towards a near post, man. Wait. Suarez? It doesn't matter. We got the goal either way. What was that pass? That pass was probably one of the best passes I have seen in FIFA 22. This is literally like the last attack in the 45th minute as well, man. Go on. Use that pace. We'll roll. Reverse. He's going to come towards me. We hit him with the... Oh my. We hit him with the lack of care today. Created the angle perfectly. It's just the AI got in the way and actually blocked it. But we got the goal. Hit him with a roulette and accelerate. Well played, man. Well played. Look at that pace. We'll roll and go for it. Green timed as well. And it's not going to go in. That's when you need the finesse shot trait. If, the fin if he had the finesse shot trait, I honestly feel like that just goes side netting. Suarez, shield him. Look at the strength, man. Hit him with a roulette now. Oh. Go on. Green timed. Lopez. I don't know. Is that the rule break? I think that might be the rule break. I'm not sure. That's an unreal save. Generally, the strength there, though, to hold off that player was really nice. I'm just going to run a Griezmann here. I see Suarez literally throw on goal as well. He's going to bring out the keeper. He isn't, but he is going to move the keeper. Pretty much giving us a guaranteed goal. Can I give it down to Suarez? I can. Flick it over. Beautiful. Flick it over again and just smack the volley into the back of the net. Beautiful finish. Really nice flick as well. Usually when I do those flicks, they tend to just hit the player in the head. So I do like how it just uh, perfectly landed behind him. Go on, Griezmann. Keep it going. That's a good pass as well. Flick it over. Nice. And just smack it with N'Golo Kante. I don't really trust Kante's pace. Uh, not pace, sorry. Shooting, especially it being the flashback. But it's literally an open goal. Surely he can't miss. He's going to push out with Kempembe. He is. And Suarez is in behind easily. I might. Yeah, you know what? Let's give it over to uh, Griezmann. And I tried to go for a double Rabona. The Rabona pass into the Rabona shot. It would have been outrageous, man. I'm just going to pass it down. Good turn. Really good turn. It did definitely go, you know, get a few bounces on the way. There's no question about that. But that touch and turn was really quickly. And Suarez hitting it towards the near post there. I think there was no doubt. No question. Got to keep going, Suarez. This is against Maldini as well. It's always going to be a bit of a challenge, but he's doing so well, man. Keep it going. Ball roll. Pass into Griezmann, and that is a wide open goal. I don't know why he brought a keeper there. It was very stupid from him, but the fact that Suarez has beat 92 Maldini there is really surprising. Flick it over. Oh, my God. That's against Maldini as well. That's unreal. Please. No. <sighs> Come on. He even tried to take... You see how he tried to take us out as well, Maldini? Come on, man. That needs to end in a goal. I might just give it to Verdi. Through ball, Suarez. Against Maldini again, man. You know what? You know what? Let's give it a go. I saw him move... I'm not really move the keeper. Bring out the keeper. Keeper wasn't positioned well. 
give it a go. You never know, especially with Suarez's shooting ability. Anything could go in. Suarez, is he on side? He might actually be on side. We shot cancel around the keeper as well. Yeah, this guy that I'm playing, he does a lot of offside traps. So you just have to like find the perfect time to go for that pass. And clearly, that was the perfect time. I thought it definitely was offside though. Can I get a driven there? I can. And Suarez is literally through. I might shoot here. Yeah. Hard angle, but side netting with Suarez, man. He's shooting with it. You can tell like on that stronger foot is incredible you definitely have those little moments on that four star weak foot which you guys have seen which you know it hasn't been the greatest of shots but there has been times the four star weak foot has definitely turned up for us so it is time to review and we ended up playing five games with Suarez. We scored eight goals and we also did come out with a single assist as well. I was genuinely shocked how good his skill moves actually came off. I knew they were probably going to feel pretty decent right you can tell by looking at the dribbling stats it's just how quick it was coming off. It was outrageous. The Migiri spin cancel felt amazing on him. The Lacroqueta outstanding on him and the the elasticos and the reverse elasticos as well they felt so smooth they didn't go too far there's sometimes with five star skillers where you do like a reverse elastico it goes a little bit too far allows the defender to come in and go in for the tackle with suarez that was not the case so yeah generally blown away with how good the skill moves and the dribbling just in general actually was passing ability the pass this the passes this guy was doing you expect off a team with a Jorginho, a team with a Kante, a team with a KDB. The passing was outstanding. And if you want to play this card in a cam position, definitely go ahead and do it. The passing is definitely good enough. The shooting ability, right foot was uh, incredible. The left foot, it had its moments. I think we can all agree, right? Where there were some times where it was going into the corner. Other times it was hitting crossbar down. There was other times where it didn't even hit the target. So yeah, the four-star weak foot definitely had its moments. And you're going to get that from every four-star weak foot player in this game. You get that from Vinny. You get it from Mbappe. You get it from like a gold CR7 or even like a team of the year CR7. Obviously, the foot birthday is a completely different story because it's got a five-star weak foot. But yeah, you get that from all four-star weak foot players this year where sometimes a ball can fly in and other times they miss the whole target. It's just how it is. Pace. I was actually quite quite happy with the pace i thought you know the 91 sprint speed wasn't going to be that great right especially matching up against like a flashback run every single game i thought that sprint speed was going to be an issue but you guys saw what he was doing to maldini and we all know maldini he ain't a slow center back straight up he is not a slow center back at all so yeah i was really really happy with the pace i definitely was worried for a bit with that 91 sprint speed but after using him, after seeing how he gets in behind and all, I'm, uh, trust me, I'm no longer worried. And the physicals, love these physicals. The way you can calm down the play, hold the player off with that 91 strength is really, really nice to see as well. Now, this card is going for around 1.3 million coins. Is it worth it? It is not worth it. Listen, all right, 1.3 mil. You can literally go ahead and get an Mbappe on Xbox for 600k. And you can get an Mbappe on PlayStation for like 800k. So yeah, this card definitely is not worth the 1.3 mil it is actually going for. Now, where would he go in the attacker's tier list? This is the thing with this card, right? This card is definitely better than Flashback Benzema. No question. This card is better than the Akadi, the Flashback Akadi. This card is better than uh, anyone else. Oh yeah, Martinez, the Honorable Mention. This card is better than... I would say this card is better than Di Natale as well. I genuinely would. Like, Di Natale is amazing, but with the five-star skill with Suarez gives you as well, it's like, yeah, I'll definitely take this card over a player like Di Natale. I think he has to go into the S tier. I would take this foot birthday Suarez card over everyone in the A plus tier in the attacker's tier list. He is genuinely incredible. I am still shocked how good his skill moves actually come off. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.